Hey, Zindy here from the Golden Land, located at angelfire.com slash game slash link 40. And finally, it is about time we're back on track. I should be getting videos done pretty regularly now again, now that Skyward Sword is pretty much done and out of the way. Um, <clears throat> this particular video is probably one that everybody's probably been expecting for a while now that the new Hyrule Historia book has been out. Um, if you haven't heard, Hyrule Historia is a book that was released in Japan. Um, it's got the Nintendo official quality seal on it, or the official Nintendo seal on it. So... People are assuming that it is official Nintendo um, storyline for The Legend of Zelda. Uh, and it goes through and explaining how they really kind of rank the Zelda games in what order they want to. You know, the story that they claim would never ever come out to the public. Well, it's out. The thing is about it is that I've never actually heard Nintendo specifically say that they actually did release it, that it's their storyline. I've only heard fan websites claim that. So whether it's completely official yet, I don't know. If it is... Find out for me. Tell, give me an email or something and tell me because I would definitely like to know. But basically, like I said, Hyrule Historia is a book that they launched that pretty much tells the storyline of The Legend of Zelda and how they and how they feel it goes and uh, what they're working around. The reason why I bring up this particular video is because I've been getting a lot of emails lately about if I knew about it. I've been getting a lot of my friends come up to me and be like, "Well, are you mad about it?" And um, I, it's 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 kind of hard. It's kind of hard. I, I'm very indifferent. Um, I think it's kind of cool that Nintendo is finally has a franchise on their hands in which they are ex establishing a solid storyline. Um, the reason why I like that is because there are so many really good games out there that have an established storyline that really go off of how they, how they operate in the games and how the games are presented. And having one solid concrete storyline just makes it m makes fun. You know, you can have a lot of fun making prequels. You can have a lot of fun making sequels. You know, things like that because. The fans know where everything takes place, and, that, and that, that's what I like about it. Um, I don't like that a lot of the fun of Zelda has been taking out in this concept, for me at least, where, where writing a storyline, writing theories is always the best thing I could possibly do when it comes to Zelda. Um, my Zelda site isn't the greatest, I, and, and, and I know that. And, and um, I'm one person, and you know, and, and I, I just I try, I try to fill it with information that I can possibly fill it with. Um, but I, what I try to do is I try to portray my storyline the best way possible. And if my storyline isn't accurate or isn't right, um, it just it, it kind of, it's it's a little sad that I technically don't need to work on a storyline. Of course, assuming this Hyrule Historia book is correct and accurate, in, according to Nintendo. Um, the thing is, I looked at this storyline, and if it is, and if it is the official storyline, I have a lot of problems with it. Um, now, of course, Nintendo, you know, isn't going to fill in all the gaps because that allows them to make games that will fill in the gaps. But there are small, little, minute details that I've picked up that I don't think fit um, in their particular storyline. A, a perfect example of this would be at the end of a Link to the Past. At the end of the credits, it says the Master Sword sleeps again forever and forever is in bold letters it's big old capitalized they think there's like three exclamation points whatever <clears throat> it's it's apparently obvious that the master sword sleeps forever that is it is never once again used after that point and then in their timeline oracle ages and seasons comes after and if that's canon you get the master sword oracle ages and seasons which only means that it didn't sleep again forever so it kind of goes against its own thing um the biggest thing that sets it off, though, of course, is when Wind Waker came out. Nintendo came out, or came out and said that the Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker takes place after um, Ocarina of Time, in which Link was an adult, um, signifying that there are two timelines that are congruent, that are going on at the same time. Um, this is where it gets real wacky, so try to follow along as best you can. Um, Nintendo claims that there's actually three timelines coming off of Ocarina. Now, the reason why I don't like this is because. Ocarina of Time doesn't have three timelines, it only has two, child and adult. So where they get three, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but basically how it works is, let, let's, let's say this is Ocarina of Time right here, this little circle that I'm making in the air here. Uh, there are two timelines that come off, that go off, to the, that, that, that go off to the right, and there's one timeline that goes off to the left. Um, the two that go off to the right, above them, is called the Hero of Time Succeeded. Then Child Link goes off and does Majora's Mask, and then the one... Uh, the, the one way on, way on the right, it is it takes place after Ocarina of Time in which Link was an adult. Okay, and, and it's specifically titled The Hero of Time Succeeded. Then the one that goes way off to the left, though, it says above it, The Hero of Time Was Defeated. And then that goes off to A Link to the Past. And I have no idea what this means. It is very, very odd to me that they would claim that The Hero of Time Was Defeated because he wasn't. In both the child and the adult timeline, he was not defeated. So, 
if Link goes off and does Majora's Mask, and then in the adult timeline does goes, goes off and does Wind Waker, and specifically says the Hero of Time was uh, succeeded, then over here it goes Ocarina of Time, A Link to the Past, Oracle Ages and Seasons, Link's Awakening, Zelda 1, Zelda 2, is that order. And that one is under the category of the Hero of Time was defeated. So... I'm assuming at one point they're going to make a game that's gonna that's gonna gap that if, if you know to fill that in. But for right now, I'm completely lost. I'm I'm completely beyond it. I have no idea. Um, another thing that really makes me makes me wonder is that the Triforce itself requires three facets of power. Pow, you know, or, or three facets to be involved to touch the Triforce: power, courage, and wisdom. Um, I don't get how at the end of A Link to the Past, if this if their timeline is correct, where it goes Ocarina A Link to the Past, that you can just get the Triforce at the end of A Link to the Past. Some will claim that the pendants of power, courage, and wisdom give them the ability to. But what really bothers me about it is the fact that in The Legend of Zelda, way on the bottom, if Link obtains the Triforce in A Link to the Past, it eventually leads to The Legend of Zelda on that same timeline. And somehow Zelda has the Triforce of Wisdom, and she splits it into eight pieces, and then Link finds it. So wait a second, if the Triforce is already captured and gotten it in A Link to the Past, put in a shrine like you see at the beginning of the Oracle series, which is next, and then you go to The Legend of Zelda, where Zelda splits her Triforce of Wisdom, how does she even get it? So that's what I'm kind of curious about, too. So check it on my site. If you go to my timeline on my website, it, you have two choices. One, you can choose to view Nintendos, and you see all the loopholes that I have found that I don't like about it. And then you can click on mine to, 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 to see it. But I had to make a video. I had to tell people out there I do know about it. I have, I have heard about it, and uh, there are a lot of things I actually really disagree about it. So um, shoot me your comments about what you think about it, and tell me if you like theirs better than mine, because I would definitely like to know. Um, I will be updating both as time goes on um, until they give me legitimate reasons on why their games are placed the way they are. I will still be doing mine, because I've still got emails and people telling me that mine is more accurate. So that's it for now. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.